My Gemini's, my Gemini Yang Gemini's, yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? Let's go down in the life of a Gemini between the fifteenth and the thirtieth of September. <laughs> Y'all reflecting, reflecting in thought, maybe. The intuition is heightened, even. Let me cut my phone down. Oh, 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 oh. even this here, even. Hold up. Sorry, y'all, to be a little extra on y'all video, but I have to turn this down. <laughs> All right. So, as you know, also, this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey, it's Mocha. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Little Tarot channel. Um, this is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, I may cuss a little bit. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? So if I see some bullshit, Gemini, I know I might even get the belt, okay? So when I ain't got the belt a long time, we family up in here. So I can get the belt. If you need a personal reading, y'all, uh, that information can be found in the description, okay? It's just general. For my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Gemini. My Venus is in Gemini. With Venus huh, and Libra, <laughs> let's just pray that everybody is keeping their cool, okay? And that their energy is, don't let nobody steal your chi, Gemini, okay? Don't cuss the people out at the job and tell them kiss your ass on Monday and then come back in on Wednesday and everything, everything, everybody gonna be cool with that. No, okay? You gonna get them four fingers, all right? So, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Upon losing your cool, take you two seconds, deep breath. And whatever it was that was bothering you, Gemini, say it with me now. And then proceed to say what you were gonna say. It's gonna feel a ton, a ton of bri it's like a ton of bricks have been lifted. Okay, you keep your twin in check, and everything's gonna be smooth. All right, uh, <laughs> y'all. This will be. Um, I do have a ten dollar ten minute reading. I did extend it. You know, I talk shit about it, but I did extend it into the fifteenth of September. So if you haven't gotten in on that special, it's one question. Um, 10 minutes, okay, and I'm going to do as much tea as I can in 10 minutes to uh, boo uh, with that one question, anything or uh, insights around it. I have a special way of doing things, so just get your damn 10 minute special. If you have to read it with me, you know, it's bomb. Let a, let a friend know, okay, so that's right. So my first message starts, um, my first message begins with the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay. The message that I have for Gemini is Sugar Light. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Gemini, you were born a boss, a creator, business owners, high achievers, some type of authority. Let people walk on you where? Why? Who? Who do that? Not Gemini. Okay. This card of empower. I'm sorry. This is a card of empowerment, reminding you that you were made in the image. And likeness of God. So you do have the power of God always within you. In addition, all that you've experienced in life has made you stronger. This card comes up whenever you've been giving your power away to others. Perhaps you feared that they'd take something away valuable if you didn't comply with their wishes. Or maybe you've codependently worried about other people's opinions. This is the time for assertiveness on your part including holding boundaries and saying no to unreasonable requests for your time, money, and or other resources. Assertiveness helps you to honor and follow your inner guidance, which is a path of harmony and health. Gemini, you're giving too much? Give based on what is bestowed upon to you, especially when you have it to heal from people, places, and things that take and just drain you, okay? Spirit is not saying the right thing to do is allow people to drain you. It's a difference between being nice and being naive. Them two different damn ends, okay? Logic. Y'all are strategic energy. Logic. Head over heart, baby. Okay? During this time, y'all, you have a choice. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to have to move to, by yourself and give to yourself. 
A lot of y'all during this time are going to be really reflective and thinking about investing in your own self and investing in a business for yourself during this time. Spirit says, go ahead. Okay. Some of you have actually taken the, the lessons that you've learned. Okay. The wisdom that you've attained, even the knowledge you've attained through school. And it's time for you to make that move, Gemini. Open that damn business. I feel like a lot of y'all need to me just to say, open that damn business. Okay. You are not a worker yet, but you are a creator. What is you doing? Oh no, baby. <laughs> what is you doing, Gemini twin? What is you doing, baby? Oh no. Now stop this. Use your intuition because I feel like this is something that's been beating you down for some of you all. Your spirit told him animal for the month to look out for is the owl. You're gonna be have very, very, very heightened intuition with this Venus in Libra. Let's talk about this. Okay. You're gonna be in your feelings, okay? It definitely affects empaths, okay, because it can put us in this toxic what once was energy is very reflective so those of us in relationships baby it's going to be a little challenging during this time okay um to see another person's point of view but you have to really first be able to see what in yourself baby can be shifted for the better okay not saying that somebody's saying because can't nobody tell Gemini that they need to change for not eat motherfucker not nothing okay but i feel <laughs> it's a time to be very self-reflective some of y'all are dealing with a water sign Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on Pisces. And I feel like intuitively, a lot of y'all have not been following your intuition. You've been more following your thoughts. Some of y'all been thinking so damn much. You ain't got no room to think not a damn thing, not a nail nutter. You ain't got room to put nothing else in that damn brain, okay? I feel like some of y'all, this could also be Cancer, Scorpio, but strong emphasis on Pisces. I feel like this person makes you see the light and the darkness within yourself. And during this time, you're going to stop looking at it from a place of feeling like this person is against you or feeling like you have to defend yourself against this person yet being more so assertive to be real with yourself okay i feel that a lot of y'all have been kind of thinking about making some changes thinking about changing some things and things that you saw within yourself your third eye is booming and blooming your, your dreams that you having a lot of y'all having a bunch of deja vu moments during this time like oh my gosh i seen this i seen this i seen this your third eye trust what you feel your third eye is going to be very, very, very helpful to you during this month. It's going to be very revealing, okay? Things of things that were unspoken, that were unsaid, but you know that you know, but you just couldn't quite put your finger on it due to people's deception, lies, deceit, and trickery, and cowardice. It's coming to the forefront during this time. And some of y'all, it's not even going to be the person who you think it is, okay? Some of you all, during this time, I do see... Some of y'all could actually cut off or got cut off by another Gemini Libra Aquarius, but this person and whoever this is got cut off during this time. Y'all could be cutting somebody off due to a third party relationship, but I feel like this is not this person's first time putting you in a third party relationship. And I feel like you're finally going to take a leap of faith and move away. For some of y'all, I feel like this is strongly if you were dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Some of y'all want to move towards fire because intuitively you know that this person is your divine lover. It's infinite. You're supposed to be with this person. But you didn't want to see the dark side of yourself, okay, in order to accept this person at first. You felt like, who sent you? <laughs> what they want? Tell them don't ask your ass to send me, ask me for no money because it ain't happening, Jack. Okay, so I feel... <laughs> I feel during this time a lot of y'all are going to be moving forward and actually jumping right into new, right into newness as soon as you do, okay? For some of you who are leaving air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're going to need a fire sign or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's going to rock your world. Trust your intuition. Get out your head about this person because if you overthink it, it's going to allow you not to be able to move away from your past. But during this time, intuitively, y'all know y'all been having to make a shift in the move because the cycle has ended, okay? This person all of a sudden wants newness, but... What was that attitude six months ago when you put me on my ass and I ain't have nothing to nobody and I was in a whole nother state? This is for somebody because I just told somebody's story. What was this energy at when you left me out in the cold for this motherfucker? Now she left you out. Now you want you 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 know me again. Okay, what was this energy at when I was trying to get it out the mud and grind and grind and grind and I couldn't ask you for fifty cents. But you think you're going to come back in my world. For some of y'all, you intuitively feel like they're dealing with another water sign. Cancer Pi with a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it could also be um, a fire sign. But you feel like this person is dealing or air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person left you out in the cold to go 
find riches elsewhere. And during this time, they're going to be coming back because they find out the people had some fake ass grass over there. So now they want to hold on to you. For some of y'all, you got an earth sign holding on to you for finances. Okay. Or if it's not an earth sign, this could also be a water sign or a fire sign holding on to you for finances. But truth and clarity is definitely coming. Someone who didn't want to make a decision. All of a sudden, you start being defensive towards their ass during this time, and now they want to talk. They want to speak. But unless they speak in truth and clarity, okay, because for some of y'all, they moved on to somebody who had more money, or they started making more money and got to talking big shit, but then they, get, they, they, they got to where they was going to figure, I'm lost. I don't even know what the hell to do. And for some of y'all, you're having strength with dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Some of y'all having tower moments with a Leo. During this time, and it has to do with a third party situation. But again, somebody getting cut off because you're tired. You just like, you know what? I'm not doing this third party bullshit. Every time I think you can't get no lower, you dig a damn tunnel on me. You, what, 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 when is this going to stop? So, Queen of Swords, stand up. I'm not with the shit. I can love you. I'm very loving, but I ain't no damn fool because I've been there. I've done that. I wrote the damn book about it, baby. So don't try to play me. Trust your intuition. Because your thoughts during this time, baby, can be a bit all over the place. Because I feel like Gemini is very in a, in, in a very reflective state. Why is the strength card here for my baby? Twice the strength card here for my chip. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to find out. Intuitively, you knew someone possibly could have had a kid on you. And this is somebody they moved away from you in the past and they did it in a way to, with no communication in order to just be able to pop back up. And for some of you, like, with, with, they, as long as they don't give you no closure, you won't cut their ass off. Anybody can pop back up from not, from, from, from silence. Now, if you just went ahead and let me know the deception, you knew how to cut your ass up. So now you're getting to redo to cut their ass up because it's time for them to roll. Get a giddy up. Roll out. Pack it up. You got to go. So some of y'all have been defensive towards a Scorpio because they shit to hit the fan. Truth and clarity has come to the surface, and you just like, I knew it. I knew it. For some of y'all, you were being defensive towards an Aries because you thought, in this case, you thought someone put you in a three-party situation. If you're dealing with Aries, this person in the past could have put you in a third-party situation. I feel like in the recent past, this person got to moving out different, and you like, oh, hold the hell up. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You, you're moving different again. You got to be cheating. Gemini, you're going to find out this person wasn't cheating during this time. This person actually is very passionate about you. And for some of y'all, this person is a twin flame or a soulmate to you. One second. Y'all got cards jumping off the table. <laughs> they go that damn Leo. <laughs> some of y'all are going into a new cycle with a Leo. This person is willing to put in the work after after some deception actually comes to the forefront. Okay, so you may find out some shit, truth and clarity about your Leo person was out there. They just like cake, Gemini. Don't you like cake? Don't y'all be eating everybody cake. She might be soggy. All right. So I do see, um, yeah, somebody wouldn't, somebody could make a decision. I feel like if you was dealing with another Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person was definitely juggling yourself and a fire sign. Could have could have also been a Virgo. For some of y'all, <laughs> Some of y'all better be careful because y'all gonna find out y'all pregnant during this time. Why is these all these baby energy and all these cards for everybody? Everybody out here but having kids? Y'all know Mocha love the kids. I'm talking shit. I love the kids though. But yeah, some of y'all are going into a new cycle. Some of y'all are gonna find out some form of deception behind the scenes. Some of y'all wanted to start Go, some of y'all, Gemini, want to go into a new cycle with the Virgo. You want something new from this person. This could be the mother or father of your children. You want to go into a new cycle with this person, but this, the person just can't shake this deceptive energy. And I feel like it breaks your heart because you really see yourself building with this person. One second. Didn't I tell y'all, don't be in y'all head so much with a new love. There you go. All right. Gemini, some of y'all intuitively know y'all met a water sign recently. This person could have, this person, Gemini, could be coming into your life and they could be pregnant, okay? Or they could have recently had a baby and you kind of indecisive because you're like, I've been here, done this. Last time, this person had did this to me. And last time, no. But you feel, you feel butterflies in your stomach when this person is around you. 
And I ain't talking about them shifty ass deceptive butterflies. I'm talking about the one that sings songs in the springtime and shit. You know. <laughs> yeah, somebody moved away from you. Earth sign, you ready to move away from Capricorn towards Virgo? I feel like this person left you out in the past. Now this person's coming back. They gonna newness, and you like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I smash or whatever, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all going some of y'all have a fire sign that's promising all of this newness, but they really have the intention to come in and hit it and quit it and leave you out in the cold again. But I feel like they, you healed from this, okay? And this is a test from the universe. This is a test from God. Did you really, you manifest in all of this greatness. You the magician, okay? But did you manifest this person? You manifested this person so much in an obsessive way that you manifested yourself right back in the third party situation, baby? We ain't celebrating that. It really is celebration if this person came back and want to hold on to you for finances. Be careful what you wish for, especially if you're dealing with Earth. Capricorn towards Virgo. Yeah, they want to work on it, all right? Because they pinnacles looking like this. They starting over in some kind of way. Let me find out you really on the cool taking in somebody to leave. you taking in independently. Some of y'all might want to ask this person for their damn social security number. Tax time coming up. Stop playing. Y'all know Miss Mother going to tell the truth, okay? Because some of y'all just recently manifested another damn dependent. Um... Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all were dealing with a Virgo, Libra, Pisces, um, Taurus, Aries. And I feel like this is someone who you can really create with. You're going to see during this time, this is somebody who you can really create with. But I feel like you, you was a little reckless with them by the mouth a little too soon, Gemini, because you got to get out of that head because you moved away. Some of y'all moved away. From a soulmate twin flame connection. That could be in the form of a Leo or a water sign. Or an Aries. Because you just assume that this person put you in a third party situation. Because you had an earth sign or another air sign in the past. That put your ass in a, in a third party situation. Some of y'all are going to be receiving some type of financial gift. This could be also from the father of your child. Especially if this person is a Sagittarius. I feel like, yeah. Some of you could have attachments to... A Sag with Aries in their charts, or some of y'all can have attachments. <sighs> some of y'all actually want to hang around in Aries, okay, or want to stick with an Aries because you see this person as being abundant. You see this person as hardworking. You see this being somebody who you can grow with, even though you have the expectation of them putting you in a third party situation, possibly with a Scorpio. Um, Capricorn is here. Yeah, some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all could have possibly had a, a Capricorn. Virgo Taurus, strong Capricorn vibes in the third party situation. Some of y'all, it's a mindset. It's this mindset of toxicity, okay? But some of y'all, it, 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 most of y'all, it was going on, okay? But some of y'all, it was not. It's your thoughts and you needing to really heal from your past and be allowing and, and, accept, and accepting and stop being so damn scary. Everybody is not trying to hurt you, baby. Let God do God's job. God that moves within you own your divine power Gemini you came here very intuitive very strategic and very logical okay so don't let nobody come into your life that can't give you equally some of y'all may be receiving some form of child support also possibly from someone who cut you off in the past and I feel like this how this worked out with this person especially if this person has air of fire in their chart I feel like the love never left with this person though so if you having to make a head over heart decision on, am I going to allow my feelings to rule what is fair and what is not, okay? Or am I going to move logically? Because for some of y'all, you have two paths. The one that were, that involves patience. And some of y'all, you're going to meet a Pisces and this person is your wish, okay? But it's going to be after cutting off the thoughts and the doubts of what, what this person could be doing. Some of y'all feel like y'all literally sleeping with the devil. And I'm going to need you to know people... Before you feel like you got to be in this damn thought about them because this is this is ridiculous, babe. You shouldn't love nobody. Don't love nobody. Don't get emotionally attached to somebody you can't trust because you hurt you in the end. Especially if you ain't healed for you before you got started to move toward that crazy ass end. Think about it. I love y'all very much. That's what I have for y'all between the 15th and the 30th of September. If you need that person, hit me up, boo. Love you, twins.